Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends once again. Thank you for stopping by. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be working on this um, Subaru Impreza. Um, it's on a TT or two chassis, but this video is not about the chassis today. It's about the um, Tamiya Subaru body shell. So um, we've all got our favourite rally cars. Um, I'm by no means a, a real life rally fan. I'm just a bit of a petrol head and I like the look of certain cars. Obviously the Impreza is, is one of those. Um, I want to, with this shell, I'm, I'm planning to recreate the, let me get this right, the 1997 Colin McRae um, Subaru Impreza WRC, um, where he, I believe he came runner up in the championship that year. Um, Tamiya actually released that model, that body shell, the year after in 98 on 58 to 1 0, um, but that was on a TA03F chassis, which is the uh, four wheel drive belt driven chassis, and the F denotes um, front drive because the motor's right on the front. Um, I also believe they did it earlier than that, the same shell on possibly a TLO1, not too sure, I never looked at that. Um, so that's what I want to make this because when I was younger, Colin McRae was just awesome. Um, he was Scottish, I'm Scottish, believe it or not. Um, and, you know, he was right, he was a, the pinnacle of rallying. So that's from that era, that's what I want to recreate. So we've got this Monte Carlo um, Impreza, which is a great looking car, don't get me wrong. Um, but as I said, I've got an idea in my head. Um, I'll put some pictures up now of the great man himself. Um, as you can see, he's actually on the car and it just looks amazing. And here's a picture of the car in action, which is just, I just love it. It's a, it's a thing of beauty, as I always say. So this is what we're left with. So I've run this car as it is. Now, this um, is not painted. This is plaster dip, which I've never used. But you, you spray it on and it's like um, well it's a dip, basically. So in theory, it should peel off. Now, I'm not naive to think it's just going to all peel off in one go and after two minutes it's going to be done. I'm, I'm hoping it's got not going to be mega work, but it's certainly going to be easier than um, trying to strip paint off. So that's the first mission. Um, I've got It's got a couple of white buckets to take out. Obviously, the new decals will cover those holes up. Um, I'll take the spoiler off. All oh, it's all going to need cleaning first. I'll take the spoiler off, and that is going to get painted the same colour of the shell, which is um, Tamiya PS16, otherwise known as Avanti Blue. Um, I'll go over the outside of the shell first with the um, Tamiya polycarbonate cleaner. It's got a few marks on that I want to get off. Then obviously I've got to take the. It's got a couple of decals on. Take them off. Um, I'll get the residue off with this stuff, um, get all the outside sort of blemishes, marks off, so I'm happy with it. Um, and then we'll get cracking and see how this stuff, this plaster dip comes off. Um, so as I say, you've seen the pen, got a big lump of Tamiya masking tape to do all the windows. And I've got the reproduction decals, it's two sheets. So that's your, your basic car ones really, with your, all your window decals and what have you. And then we've got the actual um, Subaru, Subaru livery. Um, so I do think this is going to look mega cool. Um, or I'm hoping it's going to. Now, this car came, or the car should have six spoke gold wheels. Now obviously these are the Monte Carlo wheels. So I'll, I've got the six spoke wheels on the um, Subaru Impreza TBO one. So once this is nearing completion, we'll change the wheels over as well to give it that full look. The view of this is to make this for a running video. That's that's kind of why I'm doing it. But also, uh, it's going to be a further stage. It probably won't be on this video, but I'll make a sec. If this turns out okay, I'll make a separate video, and I'll show you the um, Tamiya Rally Cockpit that they do. It's a really cool piece of kit. I've never used one. Um, it it. I was going to say Velcros, but I think it's, I don't know if it's Velcro or sticky tape to the inside of your shell and it just fills the whole cockpit up as you would expect. Um, and then it's, it's it's down to you to put the, the, the paint, the detail into it to make it pop. I would really love 
to do like a an actual Colin McRae sort of cockpit um, to make it as close to a replica as I can. But obviously he's it's going to say uniform. His driving suit is highly highly. He's non flammable racing suit. It's the same colour as the car. It's blue, and I think they had blue helmets. Him and his co pilot. Um, and I just don't think that's going to pop enough, unfortunately. So when I do come to the cockpit, I'm probably just going to use the bright colours. Um, because obviously the car, although it's, it's it's a bright blue overall, it's a dark car. So I think the a really bright cockpit will pop. Especially when we're, we're shooting the action footage. And that's what I'm doing it for. So, I think I've covered everything there. So the first step, as I say, get the body off, get it cleaned up, spoiler off, light buckets out. Um... And then once that's done, we'll come back and we'll have a look at this plaster dip and hopefully it's going to come off in one go. Right, that's all the bits off. Um, once I get this plaster dip off, if I get this plaster dip off, um, I'll, I'm will i going to soak all this stuff in hot soapy water. Because um, I say I've run this and there's, there's dust everywhere on it, probably not picking it up on camera. Um, but I've got the decals off best I can. There's a couple small corners I've just got to get a little knife into. Um, but I just wanted to show you, and get this on camera. So here, so I've just started peeling this off very slowly. Now, it definitely doesn't leave any residue, which is awesome. Now, I have been told that, um, I don't know if it's hot soapy water, but warm water helps take this stuff off. But what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to have a go with my fingers and just see how much of it we can get off and then we'll go from there. And if we get some tricky bits, we might have to like bathe it in warm water. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping, as you see there, it, uh, that's pretty awesome stuff actually, I like that. Um, anyway, let's get cracking and let's get this stuff off. Right, this stuff is coming off pretty easy, but I thought I might as well just show you. There is kind, so it seems to be kind of a technique for it, whereas when you get a little bit lifted, if you keep your pressure on it and then just um, gradually move it with your fingers, I hope this is coming across on camera, um, it comes off in quite big lumps, which is awesome. I um, didn't expect that. I'll just snap this so you can kind of see it, but... That's how it comes off. And it's not there's no residue, there's no stickiness adhesive to it whatsoever. Um, which is pretty awesome. Look at that. So I, I am doing this a little bit quickly, which I'm aware of. Just but I'm only doing that because it's on camera. But uh, well, that is apparently the thicker you spray this stuff in, <clears throat> the easier it comes out. So I've been told. But again, only what I've been told, I'm certainly no expert. Seems to be a little bit more tricky when you've got some creases in it. It does seem to get a bit of a better grip. But, uh, wow, look at that. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm very chuffed with that, I really am. That's, um, that's not gonna take too long, I don't think. Right, what I'll do now is I'll bat on and um, get this all out and then we'll have a look from there. Right, we're about, oh, what would I say, 40 minutes into it and as you can see the majority of it's off. A um, couple of hard bits, but I've just discovered something I just wanted to show you. I've been trying to get my nail on it, but if you just use your thumb, if you watch this little bit here, and you just rub it, it just, it pulls off with your thumb. Which I didn't actually expect, which is awesome, and it gives you the lips again to to pull it off. So we are left with. Um, if I can get this bit off, and it's gone. <laughs> Pretty cool. So we are left with bits um, that I am going to have to clean up. But basically, I'm going to wash it out once I've got this last bit of the bonnet off. And I'll wash it out, clean it up, and then see exactly what we're left with. Because this stuff sticks to the edges as well, I've noticed. Uh, and this this wing's not been, this wheel latch has not been trimmed very good. So it's it's got lots of places to grip on. So I just need to make sure I get all those bits out before we go near it with paint. 
But um, yeah, I've got I've got to be happy with that to be honest. Right, that's pretty much as far as I can go with that. Um, I think next day is now is to get it in some warm soapy water and just clean all the little bits off. All the bits you can see are loose, but they're sort of clinging to the body. Um, so it needs a good wash, but um, yeah, so far so good. That looks a bit of a dog. I'm gonna have to work on that. It, that that film gets right into the sort of nooks and crannies, uh, which you would expect, I guess. So let's get it um, washed and see what it looks like. Right, guys, that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Um, I'm gonna mask the windows up now and then give it one more um, clean out with some alcohol-free wipes, and then we'll uh, we'll get some paint on. Right, that's it all masked off. Um, just gonna give it one more wipe out and then we'll get some paint on it and see um, what happens. Also gonna, with PS16, also gonna blast over the spoiler. A lot of people leave this plastic blue as it is, but um, I think if you just spray it the same color, you just it's just a much better finish. Anyway, let's get some paint on it. Right, that's the paint on. Um, I went quite light in the beginning. I love PS16, I always, it always seems to take really well. Um, as I say, I went quite light. It's probably, it's nearly done the full can, pretty much. Obviously done the rear spoiler, which you can't really tell, but it's, obviously it matches the, the shell now. Um, I've got no nasty blemishes, and I was kind of expecting some dirty marks in there. Um, you know, obviously it's early days, but um, you get how it's looking. See, that spoiler's the same colour, that makes all the difference. Um, so anyway, we'll let it harden, but as I say, don't seem, obviously the shell itself's been used, so it's got some outside scratches, but as it doesn't look too bad, I have to say. Right, um, let's let it harden and then we'll whiz the masking off. Right, that's the edges, obviously I'm going to leave this masking on a lot longer, but I is very happy with that. Um, I didn't expect it, I thought it'd have more blemishes on it. Um, there's a few, don't get me wrong, but overall, and that wing, obviously the same colour, just looks class. Very, very happy with that. Look at that! Oh my god, I do love a Scooby. Right, so, I'm desperate to pull those window masks off, but I, I won't. Um, Let's let this harden and um, we'll come back to it because that's looking pretty damn sweet now. Okay, I couldn't resist. So, window masks are off and I've just sat it back on the TT or 2 chassis. I know it's the wrong wheels for the car I'm doing, but um, I'm just trying to get it in the light so you can see it pop. That is looking so sweet. <laughs> As I've just banged himself into the cupboard. It's a bit darker on this side. Oh, when it's got proper wheels on the nose decals and the, the driver cockpit in, it's gonna look bad boy. Yeah, very, very happy with that. Right, what I'm definitely gonna do now is leave that overnight to harden. Um, I've not screwed the, oops, I've not screwed the rear wing down either. Um, so I just want, I need it to harden and then we'll come back to it in the morning, um, which will be um, decal time. Right, it's the morning after and shell's all hardened, I've screwed down the wing, so now it's decal time. Now obviously one sheet is you can sort of complete Subaru rally decals, so I'm going to leave that for now um, and concentrate on these ones. Now, for me, I like to sort of do it in a sense of you do the sort of basic car details first, so all the windscreen um, surroundings um, on the lights, um, the grills, things like that. Um, this is going to take a fair bit of time, I think. Um, but anyway, I think it's going to be worth it when it's done. So we'll do it step by step. I'll do it off camera again. Um, a lot of people use a knife to cut out. Um, I do now and again, but I've got to be honest, I prefer the modelling scissors. Um, especially with reproduction MCI decals, because... Let me just see if I can show you one. I don't know if you can see on here, this, this black line is not quite as crisp as it should be. Um, and I like just to 
cut it right on the black line with the scissors um, to make it look sharper. Um, the knife will do that as well, but I just I just find it easier with scissors. So I think the first thing to do, we'll cut all the windscreen decals out and 100% figure out where they've all got to go um, so we don't make any mistakes. So let's get cracking. Right guys, that's the window decals on and doing those is never my favourite, I've got to be honest. Um, I know the windscreen needs cleaning, um, but that's more on the inside. But it's all straight. Um, got an issue on this side because it's supposed to have one mirror on the car um, and I haven't got that. Although, I'll, I'll look in the box, I might have, and I don't, I have definitely got two plastic mirrors elsewhere. So whether I paint that line black just to fill this up, um, but that's a job to do at the end really. Um, but it doesn't look too bad. They've gone on quite well. The back one. They've gone on okay, to be honest. As I say, it's never my favourite part, but um, yeah, it's starting to look good. Um, ne oh, I've got roof lines as well. Don't know if, you can, if you've seen them. That's quite a nice detail on the car. I didn't realise it had them. Um, and when it sort of catches your eye, it just sort of finishes it off, looks well. So next stage is we'll do the headlights and grills and things like that. Right, that's the sort of car decals done. So we've got the front end done. Um, looks pretty cool to be honest. There's a couple of um, Pirelli stickers to put on the front, but I'm not sure because obviously these are reproduction, the decals are not numbered. So I'm not entirely sure they go on here. Um, but there's a couple of sizes on this sheet, so I just want to make sure. Um, so I'm going to kind of leave it to the end. So I've put the, the indicators on. And then the back lights have just gone on. So it's starting to take shape. So I guess now we'll start on the actual Subaru decals. Um, and just sort of fit the easy ones and then see what we're left with. But uh, starting to take shape. Right, that's the rally sticker starting to go on. Don't half change how it looks. And unfortunately the lighting in here doesn't make these um, Subaru stickers pop, but they really do. That looks pretty bad boy. I'm really liking that. I've had to put a lot, I've had to put the shell on the car most of the um, time I've been doing the decals to support it, because obviously it's a bit, shaky um, but it seems to work quite well on the car anyway um, what I'm going to do now because I want to make sure obviously these stickers I'm using are correct so I'm gonna this is what I've got left so another two big ones of the sides I'm pretty sure that's for the roof and then I've got another one which actually got the Subaru on it which I believe goes on the back so I think I'll, um, I'll mount those next Right, those big side decals are a real pain um, and I've done something for the first time I've never done um, and it's worked a treat. I know a lot of guys out there use this technique um, which is obviously this full decal went on as one but I've put it on and I made cuts to it with the um, craft knife um, got it all on so none of the actual decals had any bubbles or lines in it's not finished yet, I'm just, I need to put this one down but then I went with the knife and I cut round the decals um, and peeled peeled it off and it looks way better. I had to do it because on the other side, I put this one on first and um, it was shocking, to be honest. Now, it's still got areas here. You probably can't pick it up on camera that much, but there's areas I'm going to go around and I'm going to cut out. Um, that's lifted a little bit. But um, anyway, I'm going to tidy all this up. Uh, a later date, but I'm obviously I'm going to carry on decaling first. Um, but yeah, as I said, never done that before, but it's 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 worked a treat. See, I can see that you're picking that up. See that edge there. Uh, so I'm just going to get my knife and follow the Subaru and peel that off, and it will look way better. So that's something I've never done before, um, but certainly works. Um, so we're getting there. Um, I've got the big two of these to put on which go here at the front and there's got a number and it has some other little decals within the square. So I'll do them next. 
Um, I put the wing decals on, they look pretty cool. Um, it's quite a mission, didn't look, I know there was two sheets of decals, but when I was looking at it, it didn't seem too bad, but um, anyway, let's get the next ones on. Right, that's the side ones on, pretty straightforward, on either side, although on the left hand side it does have a red sticker that goes on this side, which creates absolute havoc with my LCD, because it should have one on the other side, but obviously it doesn't. Check the picture of the real rally car and it doesn't either, so not to worry. Roof decals are on, that looks pretty sweet. Um, so now all I've got left is those, so there's some door handles and there's some Pirelli stickers to get on. So um, we'll finish it off now, so as I said there's a couple of door handles to stick on, there's some uh, Illuminous Pirelli and other stickers to go here. Um, there's a two blue hellers that go over this headlight here, heller decals. And there's looks like that's pretty much it. Um there's a it looks like there's gonna have a few left over from box art, uh, the illuminous ones. So I might just be a little bit creative maybe and um maybe put something on this back end. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Or oh, does does that back end need anything? Maybe two Pirellis either side would look pretty cool, or down on the bumper, or on the bumper in fact, yeah, two Pirellis there, that'd look cool. Anyway, I'll finish it off now, looks pretty good though. Right, that's it, pretty much done, decal wise. Um, put those two P Pirellis on the front, which uh, give it a lot more colour at the front, which looks cool. Um, I've also added that on the, um, what is it, intercooler or whatever it's called. Um, I just think that looks pretty cool. Um, just gives it a little bit more colour. Door handles are on. Um, those side sponsorship decals are on. And on the back, I put those two Pirellis on. Pretty sure that's where they're supposed to go. Um, so that's pretty much it. So, what I'll do is, because um, obviously that's the TTR2 and that's the wrong wheels, um, that's the TBR1, so that's got the correct wheels on. So I'll stick, I'm not well, I'll stick this on the TBR1 now, um, and just see what it looks like, right? And she's done now. Obviously, this is sat on the TBR1 chassis with the TBR1 cockpit. This is not how it's going to be because there's another stage to this video, which I'll show you, I'll show you at the end of this, but um, that doesn't look bad, does it? doesn't look bad at all the wheels need cleaning because um, I've not done anything with them since the last outing look at that bad boy that doesn't look bad at all obviously the lighting in here is pretty naff but um, yeah you gotta be happy with that well guys I've got to be happy with that um, considering where the shell came from um, and it was sort of in used condition. I think it spruced up nicely. Obviously, it's not a shelf queen, although you could certainly put it on the shelf right now. Um, but it is, it is for me to run this car. Um, so as I said earlier, it's sat on a TBO one chassis, and the it's got the TBO one cockpit. So the next job for this car, we've got one of the um, Tamiya um, cockpit sets. I think it's the first time I've had this. Um, and these are really cool. Um, so you get the you get the full cockpit, which you have to cut. Um, all this has to be painted, and you get the driver's helmets. You get decals for the dashboard. And I'm not 100% sure how it fastens in, if it's Velcro or if it's just sticky tape either side. But you get all that with it. Um, so I've had enough for today. So we'll, we'll make a start on a different video on that um, probably tomorrow. Um, which when these are painted and in these cars they look epic so that's that's the final stage of this car but I've got to be honest um, that decaling was much more involved than I expected I must admit when I looked at the sheets I thought yeah that looks pretty straightforward but it's very time consuming I mean most decal sheets are but I think the rally ones are um, the, the, just on that, I've got to, um, I've got a Ford Cosworth TA01 Tiger, Tiger Stripe, 
and I um, I had a quick look at that decal sheet. It's an original sheet, and when I eventually come to do that, that's got over a hundred and thirty decals on it. So that one's going to be fun. But um, yeah, very happy with that. That's going to look absolutely epic. I just love it from every angle, and it's and it's really cold when you, as I showed you at the start of the video, when we wanted to do the Colin McRae World Rally Car of eighty, sorry ninety seven, and you know, and you, once it's finished, it's like, yeah, that was worth doing. So well, well chuffed with that. So I won't bore you any longer. Um, oops. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's much appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And anybody out there, please hit that um, bell notification um, bell for our weekly videos. And as always, guys, happy RCing.